Monday morning and you're tuned in to Hot Dog Network. In place of the Pledge of Allegiance, we will watch a short version of Mrs. McGuire singing the National Anthem. Good morning, Frankfurt, and happy Monday. For lunch today, in lines one and two, we have quesadilla, in line three, soup and salad bar with potato soup, line four, rutini, and line five, Wild Mike's Pizza. A happy birthday today goes out to Jocelyn Valdez. Now to weather with Mo. 35 degrees, the current figure. 36 degrees, the high. 24 degrees, the low. Clouds all over the sky. The weather, done. The studio, back to it. If you are a young person in an abusive relationship, talk with a peer advocate. There will be 38 teen dating violence posters posted around with information around the school. Starting today, all students must enter the school through door number one, which is the main entrance. This week, DECA cookies will be M&M, chocolate chip, chocolate brownie, and sugar. Stop by the DECA car to purchase your cookies between passing periods. DECA at the dark this week will be Monday at 2.45 to 4 p.m. Tuesday and Wednesday. The hours will be 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. and a special Sunday session from 2 to 4. The Diabetic Tiger Sharks won last week's Battle of the Books. They will go on to compete in the county competition. Big congrats to all FHS Choir State Solo and Ensemble participants this weekend for all getting gold ratings. Gold soloist will be Cole Regal, Sophie Moore, Logan Tillman, and Mo Perry. Gold Ensemble, Alexis Ramos, Thea Wilder, Emily Coffin, and Haley Campbell, Bailey Wessel, Kayla Tillman, Sophie Moore, and Logan Tillman. Great job, all. Ninth grade students will meet with Herb Jones during community on February 27th regarding class rings. Students can begin ordering class rings during lunch on March 7th. Parents can order class rings at FHS on March 7th from 2.45 to 6 p.m. Enter through the main office. The 2018 Indiana Latino Leadership Conference is at Indiana University in Kokomo, Indiana, Saturday, March 3rd at the bus will leave at 7 a.m. and return at 5 p.m. Lunch is provided. Permission slip is due Wednesday, February 21st to Miss Johnson or Miss Medina in room 201. Reminder about Frankfurt Best Buddies t-shirt fundraiser. Best Buddies has found a wonderful shirt for Disability Awareness Month and Autism Awareness Month. If you would like to purchase a shirt, please order one from Mrs. Jameson in the bookstore or see Mrs. Jagger. Orders and money are due Wednesday. Now to a video about Homecoming Queen and Big Man on Campus. Now to sports with Maddie. The boys varsity basketball team closed out conference play with a 55-51 win over Southmont. The win put them in third place to close out Sagamore Conference play. The team was down 23-27 at the half and 35-42 at the end of the third quarter, but they were able to keep working to get the game close at the end and overtake the lead in the final minute with great free throw shooting. The team shot 14 out of 16 from the line while Southmont shot 1 out of 4. The team had a balanced scoring attack with, these, with three guys over 10 points and seven players chipping into the scoring column. The JV boys basketball team won as well, finishing 4-3 against Sagamore Conference. Opponents, the team went into the half up four. Southmont came back and forced the game into overtime, where the dogs were able to finish and come out on top 65-60. The team tried the basketball and had great success doing it, 
five, five players had nine or more points in the game, while Jade Ayers and Roger Angelus did a tremendous job sacrificing their bodies, diving on loose balls, and creating extra positions for the team. On Saturday, the, boy, the boys' varsity basketball team fell to Tipton 42-57. to the, tip, the Tipton defense was solid all night and made everything difficult for the dogs, only allowing three points in the second quarter. Frankfurt outscored Tipton by one in the second half, but the first half deficit proved to be too large. The JV team fell 28-67. to The team struggled all night to close out on shooters, defensively and moving the ball offensively to get a good look. Both teams are back this Friday to wrap up the regular season at Logansport sectionals, be sectionals begin in Case Arena next week. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Now to Alexa Macias from the Big Broadcast. Sorry, that's not going to happen until tomorrow. Oh, we're going to have it. 